Hello, everyone. Welcome to the 99th day of Tiny Towns at High Noon. This upcoming Monday is the big 100th day. We're going to talk a little bit more about that later. Um, we've got some exciting stuff to show you and some prizes. It's going to be a really fun day. And for today, uh, we have a villagers setup. We've got a couple of buildings that you've seen before, but I think they're a couple of favorites. Um, and we've got a skeleton crew today, but it's a good one. We've got Vladimir Oriana on tech. Yeah, they're not seeing us. Uh, we're still having technical issues. Please stand by, but let's continue with the intro. Okay, they can hear us though, right? Yeah, they can hear us, but they are not being able to see us right now. Alrighty, and we've also got Kyle Nunn. How's it going, everybody? And our setup for today is going to be the cottage, the well, the chapel, the almshouse, the tailor, and then the grange and the post office. I'm going to give Vlad a moment uh, as he adjusts our video here before I go into those new those new buildings. Um, if you're just joining us, first of all, thank you for playing along. The way it's going to work is I have a deck of resource cards. There are 15 cards, three of each resource, and I'm going to flip one card face up and tell everyone to place that resource. Flip a second card face up. Everyone must place that resource. And then every third flip, the card is burned face down, so we don't know what resource is burned from the deck and you get to place your own resource. We call that one Builder's Choice. That's every three resources. We usually go through the deck about three or four times. Um, as usual, you should give yourself two monuments. Uh, choose one of them to play with for today between those two. You'll just want to take out the Starloom and Opalize Watch if you're playing with monuments. And uh, Vlad, are you able to blow up the post office and Grange really quick? Yes, give me one second. Post office and Grange. Oh, yep. God. So the Grange is our red building that will be feeding today. At the end of the game, you choose one building type uh, for every Grange that you have. And it feeds cottages that are adjacent to that building type. The only type you can't choose is cottage because you can't have cottages feed each other. Uh, the post office is, uh, I think it's safe to say, one of everyone's favorite villager buildings. As soon as you construct a post office, you're going to put any two different resources on it. And it works a little bit like a factory in that when either one of those resources is called from the resource deck, you have the option to place the other one on your post office. So it gives you a bit of flexibility. Uh, you can make multiple post offices with different resources, or you could even have a bit of overlapping. However, you can't use one post office to convert resources for another. If I had like yellow on two post offices, for example. Vlad's got those buildings on the screen if you want to grab a screenshot so you remember the building patterns. And Vlad, who are you joined by in the chat today? Today on the chat, we have Stephen Barnett, David Bauer, Roberto Garcia, Matt Raz, Ilya Ushakov, Kevin Renaud, Thomas Grip, Umar Hernandez, Ros Gutierrez, Luke Seegers, Paul Johnston, Alice Wood, Lubin Perez, Todd Hunter, Tori Haitland, Leslie Clixby, David Atkinson, Richard Gans, Ryan Moss, uh, Dave McKee, Casey Jones, Todd Hunter, Thomas Grip, and I hope I didn't miss anyone. And there is Rose. Hi, Rose. Um, yeah, that's all the crew for the day. Thank you for joining us. And remember, we do a daily giveaway. And if you want to win, please like and share the stream. You will get a chance to uh, win a copy of Inner Compass. And let's hear that. Rumor has it that on the 100th stream, you will be giving away Vladimir Oriana to a lucky winner. <laughs> Can you confirm whether this is true? We, we're not talking about the prizes just yet. I don't think we can confirm what the prizes are. or Are, are you are you Monday. talking that you're agreeing on giving me a surprise? I'm so, we, well, and we not said confirm we nor reveal. deny. We're not going to reveal the prizes for Monday yet. Just there, there will be prizes. Um, All right. <laughs> I'm kind of scared that I had posted something <laughs> that didn't make sense, and now I'm being punished by that. No, no, no. I think you interpreted correctly. First resource is a brick. Everyone starts their post offices, I imagine. I'm playing with the prison porch today, which is going to be pretty challenging. And guys, I mean, this is about as good as it gets for a prison porch setup, I suppose. Yeah. 
We'll so see. we are we indeed are going to have Tiny Towns 100 on Monday. It's going to be a big event for us. We're going to celebrate that we have been doing this for more than 100 days with you guys. Uh, we want to have at least 100 viewers. If you can help us inviting more people, telling everyone about this, and just ask your friend, hey, join us. We will really appreciate it. We have a bunch of prizes prepared. I know that C has some special things that he, he wants to do for that day. So be here, tell your friends, play with us. We're going to have a bunch of fun. Yep, that's going to be great. After that, Brick is a wood. Are we playing Fortune with the setup, or are we just playing Villagers? Nope. Just Villagers. Sweet. Mm-hmm. And you call it Wood? Yep. <laughs> yes, Rose, there is a chance. There is a chance that I will be one of the prizes. It's a very small chance, but who knows? All right. After that, Wood is a Builder's Choice. Uh, Richard... We are unsure to 100%. We know that he wishes to do it, but just today he he went to the doctor and, well, he's recovering and he should take things slowly. So let's hope to see C and see what's going on. Thank you, Paul. Amy saying hi, everyone. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you, Amy. Yes, we're due. We indeed are having a good day. All right, after that, Builder's Choice is a glass, also known as the thing the I just chose. <laughs> That's all right. I need a ton of it. So today on Pete's Table, we have Taverns of Tiffin Hall because mm -hmm. it's a great game. It is, it is a super fun game. One, I don't get to play nearly enough. Um, I love the, the way the board upgrades. If you haven't played it, it's a, a game of running your own tavern by Wolfgang Warsh, who did... Uh, the Mind and many other amazing games, um, Cracks of Quedlinburg. And you get to upgrade your tavern by flipping over these like puzzle pieces that fit into your board. After glass is another glass, holy smokes. Um, and it's just, it's so satisfying watching your board upgrade. Every time I play, I do the upgrades in a slightly different order. Um, it's got a fun sort of deck building element of gathering regulars who come to your tavern. It is a really fun game. Um, it's like a, I guess I would say midweight, midweight Euro type game. After that glass is a builder's choice. Ooh, I just hope that the problem that we're currently having with the stream is that my video card is dying. Well, I hope it's not that. <sighs> yeah, hopefully not. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Amy saying it's a great game. Todd Hunter love taverns with all models. Yeah, I, I'm mm -hmm. I, I'm grateful that I was teach taverns by uh, Pete and Josh last time I was in Larkston. I really enjoy it. We didn't get the chance to play with all models, but I'm looking forward did we to play, it. Did we play taverns when I was there? Yeah. I don't remember this. You taught really? me how oh, to. Yeah. You actually taught me how to play. Wow. <laughs> it's it's been so long since I've played board games with anybody that it's I, I guess it's just all a little fuzzy after that builder's choice is a wood hmm that is okay um so did anyone have the the good fortune of pre-ordering a ps5 last night in the wild scramble i don't know if either of you heard about that or attempted to snag one but it, it was horrible yeah it sounds like it's it's partly to blame on Sony and the retailers, but Sony said that pre-orders would go live at 9 a.m. this morning, and instead some retailers started just allowing people to pre-order late last night. After that, wood is a brick. Um, so, you... yeah, it was a little a little chaotic. It was just first come, first serve, whoever could get through the website to check out. Did you, did you get your copy? I did not snag one. Okay. Uh, nor am I going to buy one on eBay for $800. I will mm -hmm. wait. And I will get it when it's the normal price. I think I I think I'd read something from Jay. Let me see. Oh, it was Jen. Yeah, Jen, we are just describing Taverns. Uh, it's the game showcased by Pete today. Uh, Paul Johnson is saying... Johnston, sorry. Haven't played Taverns yet. Love Quacks. I thought, uh, I thought I never do well at it. 
Yeah, I have the same plague. I never do well in taverns, in quacks, even if I think I'm going to do good. Yeah. Kevin just got a copy of Truffle Shuffle and Point Salad. Congratulations. Ross yes. Graham, I intend to probably build the most boring tiny towns in history. My monument is the Starlum, so I'm just going to build lots of cottages and wells quickly to finish my turn early and get the Starlum points. Okay? Playing with the Starloom anyway. So yeah, I mean, the trick of Starloom with this many people is you've got to finish first out of the the 33 people who are here. No, I think if you if you do choose to play with Starloom, the way to do it is to consider yourself, uh, consider the three people, so myself and Kyle and then you. That would probably be the the most reasonable way to play with, with Starloom. After that, Brick is a builder's choice. It's going to be a stone. I've got my uh, first post office built with stone and wood. Stone being the thing I need most, wood being the thing I need least. And I might build a second one. I'm not sure. I haven't decided yet. How's your town going, Kyle? Um, I would like to say great. Okay. No, it's not bad. It's not bad yet. Uh, I'm very much in very similar position to you right now. Got a stone up next. Hmm. It's probably just going to start my Grange. And then following stone is a wood. And then, of course, we have Builder's Choice. I'm going to make that a wheat and make my monument the Prism Forge. After that, Builder's Choice is a wheat, which is OK. Followed by a stone, which is pretty good news. We got wheat, wheat, uh, wheat stone, right? Mm-hmm. Awesome. I'm actually going to turn that into a wood of all things and make my grange. All right, and then finally we have Builder's Choice to end that run through the deck. And uh, Kyle, do you have some stuff from the store to talk about for today? Yeah, so uh, in the online store, Inner Compass is currently uh, discounted with free shipping. And I can't remember the actual flavor. So it's 25% off. 25%, yeah. Yeah. Kind of blinked on that one for a second, Vlad. Thank you. No worries. And but somebody's got it. We are going to send you a link for that right now. Get Inner Compass. 25% off in our online store. While supplies last. Mm -hmm. oh, uh, talking about supplies, Kyle, did we run out of mariposas? Uh, we still have some in our online store. Okay. Uh, that number is not very big, but we do have some. So just a reminder, guys, get your copy of Mariposas while well, you still can in our store or in your friendly local game store. Uh, I mean, that's that's the pro choice. Go get it on your local game store if you can find it there. We still have some copies on our store. But I, uh, that's a change from what I said yesterday. I got the information that we had run out, but it was good to double check with Kyle. Good deal. Alrighty, the first card from the fresh run through the deck is a stone. The thing that everybody wants today, whether you're going tailors or almshouses or chapels or a combination of the three. Uh, what's your main strategy today, Kyle? Uh, I am trying tailor. We're yep. um, we're going to see if that works out for me. Lubin is recommending a new game. It's called Telstone's King's Gambit by Riot. Do you know anything about that game? I haven't Peter? heard of it. Me neither. Uh, so, Lubin, if you can share a link, we will check them out. 
All right, after that stone is a brick. Brick is a tricky one today. Um, I am going for killers, but I'm also going for chapels and cottages. Sure. I need to do something with those brick and wheat. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to try to, I'm just going to build five tailors. That's all I want, just five. We'll see how that works out. And after brick is builder's choice. Go on. Amy's asking about Todd. I uh, we just talked with him this morning, and we have had some conversations with him during the day. Everything seems fine, but I mean it's still a hurricane, so we are all sending good thoughts to Todd. Mhm. Mm all right. After that, builder's choice is a wheat. Oh boy. Good call, Pete. Good call. I'm glad you think so. Taylor number two. Oh wait, the wheat is the wheat is good. I do need that wheat. That's right. And then we have a wood following that wheat. Wood, which is gonna promptly turn into a stone for me. Oh boy, it's already getting tricky. Okay, next up is Builder's Choice. Uh, that is Taylor number three. Wow. Oh wow, we have a uh, we have someone in YouTube. His name is Matt Hoverners. Thank you, Matt, for joining us. Uh, most of the chat is here on Facebook, but thank you for joining us there. Cool. Alrighty. Uh, after that, Builder's Choice is a glass. Glass is pretty good. Pete, are you waiting for any specific board game that you want to play or have? Um, I really want to get, let's see if I can get the name correct. Super Skill Pinball 4K by Jeff Engelstein. I think that's the name. It is a pinball roll and write from WizKids, I think is the publisher. Just came out this earlier this week, so I still need to make my way down to my FOGS oh, and pick up a copy. You need to send me a link for that. Yeah, I really like pinball. I like yeah. roll rights. Jeff Engelstein is a great designer, so it looks like a ton of fun. After that, glass is another glass. Um, and one of the cool parts about it is that it comes with... A pinball uh, machine. comes with a pinball machine. No, it comes with four different tables that you play on. Awesome. Um, in the box. So it's like sort of four roll and rights in one using the same system. And it's easy to um, easy to see how they could expand it with just more tables and stuff. So, all right, after glass is Builder's Choice. Hey, Pete, can you move your board a little bit uh, towards you? Uh, yes. I'll move all this to keep... There you go. Taverns in view, all right. Chad is, uh, Chad is checking out your board, and they want to figure out your strategy. Oh, gotcha. What about Good you, luck. Kyle? Sure are you what it is. Do you want to get Not any... Are you wait, wanting for any war games? I am currently waiting on uh, Spirit Island Jagged Earth mm. from Greater Than Games coming from uh, Kickstarter right now. Awesome. Cool. And Richard Gons is waiting for Holy Festival of Colors. Yeah, it's my, my friend Julio. Um, he is a an awesome dude and a great designer. Um, he All of his games are just so wacky and bizarre in the coolest way. After that, Builder's Choice is a glass again. Wow, triple oh, glass. Man. All right, that, that's a bit much, Pete. Yeah. yeah, I'll try to turn it down a bit. Um, I'm waiting for the last expansion of the Lord of the Rings living card game. I think Fantasy mm -hmm. Flight is going to rest it for a little while, and that's going to be the first card game that I actually get to fully collect. I mean, I'm not, I didn't get any of the special edition things, but... Uh, I'm pretty happy to have a full collection. Has never happened in my life before. Cool. That's awesome. Yeah. Right, after that, glass is a stone, which is good stuff. You're telling me you don't have a complete set of uh, Magic the Gathering? No. Oh, I'm a little disappointed. I know. <laughs> I fail at life. 
<laughs> oh no, you just fail at collecting. <laughs> yeah, you're right. What was that call? Oh man, I'm in such a bad last situation. Stone was, was last call. Oh, yeah. I like stone. And then we have builder's choice. Oh boy. Now, Pete, now I really, really need a wheat, please. Thomas Grief say that he's okay, waiting. what I can do. He just received Tales of Evil, and Amy Kaiser is waiting for Marvel Splendor. I didn't knew that they were doing a version of of a Splendor with Marvel. Are they changing anything? Yeah, it looks it looks pretty interesting. I think they are changing it mechanically a little bit. Hmm, interesting. Todd Hunter is waiting for 18 holes board game. Wow, is that a golf game? Oh, that's cool. All right, after that, Builder's Choice is a wood, which, uh, that's, yeah, it's that's, a that's game. one of, of all the resources, that's one of them. That is indeed we'll one of them. That. Yep. I'm just going to oh, send yeah. that link to C because he loves golf. <laughs> I'm in so much trouble. Prison Forge is really tough. After that, wood, it's another wood. That is also definitely a resource. That is also known as Pete's Choice, which is same resource as before. Oh, man. Oh, Pete. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's something. Okay. Hold on. That goes along with it. You're, you repeat, so you're Pete and repeat. Uh-huh. <laughs> this is terrible. Paul, after that, wood is a builder's choice. Paul Johnson is saying, I, it's been a couple of weeks since I got a new game. I may be getting withdrawal symptom. I understand. Lovin says, I'm waiting for Iwari and Tidal Blaze. Ross Grafang, Knock Knock Dungeon, Seasted, and Furnace. I look pretty interesting as games soon to be released. Amy saying, playtested at PAX. It's kind of similar mechanics as Splendor, but with all the characters from Marvel and different goal. Interesting. Todd Hunter, oh. yes, a gold board game. Tiles and cars. Looks fun. Different cars every time. Awesome. Thank you for sharing that. Oh, that's neat. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I'm surprised no one's done that before. I think there's some older, older golf games, but it looks a bit mathy. Um, I am not going to be building four tailors today. I wonder if I should just give up now. I've got four. Okay, so happy for you. now are that we're now that we're reaching the second shuffle, we're gonna pause this for a little while because we're giving you some spoilers about Tiny Towns 100, and I'm just gonna turn on something on the screen. On my screen right now, you should be looking at. Give me one second. I just need to do something else. You're going to see four meeple figures. And those meeples are the villagers. We have showcased at the meeples before. But now, mm -hmm. for the first time, we're letting Pete talk to you about how the villagers work and what they're going to do. So we're getting a really early preview before the whole world. So you can tell your friends. So Pete... Let's spoil these things before Tiny Towns 100 so people get prepared to come and play with us on Monday. Yeah, so on Monday we are playing not only with villagers' cards, but also with some of the new villager abilities. So basically you're going to have three villagers who are walking around your town, sort of living in your tiny town, and they're going to work in different buildings as you build them. The trick is you have to get them on the the last space where the last resource for the layout goes and also where that building goes so you're trying to predict i'm going to put this building here and this is going to be my last resource um, and then the villager works in that building and they can then do a different ability for you there's a few different abilities that come in the box and it's always going to make for a different pairing of the two abilities there's like a, a weaker one and a stronger one um, so similar to fortune, it gives you a little more power and flexibility, but you get to pull some real shenanigans with the abilities, especially with the setup we have for Monday, you get to do some pretty wild stuff. So, uh, we are really excited about this expansion and not only does it include the villagers mode, not only does it include tiny tears, the super brutal mode that everyone did pretty well at when we played it, uh, it includes quite a lot of buildings that are base game compatible. Um, just shy of three full sets, and that's because two of the buildings interact specifically with, with villagers. Um, so you're getting 18 building cards, 16 of which can just be mixed in and played with, with base tiny towns, with fortune, whatever. 
um, and then as well as five new monuments. So it's it's a ton of stuff. It's definitely the most content in uh, you know between the two expansions, and we are really excited for it. So tune in on Monday. It's our one hundredth day of Tiny Towns at High Noon. Um, it's going to be a really fun time. And right now I'm going to switch to the camera with Kyle because Ta Kyle is the only one of us that actually has a copy of Tiny Towns Villagers right now. And hey, Kyle, can you showcase one of the villagers or can you showcase yeah. villagers? Thank you. Absolutely. So you're getting your full spoiler, guys, just because you are our fans and you have been playing with mm -hmm. us for all this time. It's then a baggie. We have a baggie. We have a value. Uh, Richard is asking, will everything from villagers fit on the base box along with fortune? Uh, I do not know. There we go. So, awesome. Oh, those look great. They do look fantastic. The bird. Cool. Um, they will definitely fit in the box without the insert. However, we've given you so many cards. I'm pretty sure the cards are going to not totally fit in the... Mm. In the card slot, you might be able to fit everything in if you rearrange a little bit. If you take out the insert, it'll definitely it'll definitely fit. Kyle, so. when is the release date for Villagers? Uh, great question. I believe it's October 2nd. October 2nd. October 2nd, Villagers. Isn't that correct? I, I thought um, I'd heard November. I, I also heard November last time. Oh, that might have been the old one. <laughs> November 13th. Okay. What was October 2nd? October 2nd. Oh, never mind. Never mind. With these, that's with these that's spoilers. one of the things I need to know. Okay. So there's still quite a bit of stuff. A lot of buildings we haven't shown you yet from villagers. A lot of monuments. And, of course, the villager abilities themselves. So we have shown you a lot of stuff in the stream, uh, which has been fun. But there's, there's still more to discover in the box, for sure. And also to celebrate... After we finish this round, on the third round, we're going to ask a couple of questions on the air. And we're going to send, it doesn't matter who wins, we're going to send a couple of copies of Tiny Towns. Not for you guys. You're winning games for share to share with your friends. So next time that we play Tiny Towns online, they will be able to join you guys. So on the third cool. shuffle, we're going to give out three copies of Tiny Towns. Just to give you a tease of what's going to happen on Tiny Towns 100. And I hope that you enjoy that. All right, let's do that. All righty. First up, we've got a brick on this new shuffle, which is really good. Ross is asking if we're releasing Billy Years on a Friday the 13th. Huh. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, Friday yeah. the 13th in November? That would, be a, uh, that would be a Friday. Yeah. Ooh, that's funny. Yeah, it's right, funny. After brick is a wood... I think that we believe so much on Tiny Towns Villagers that we don't care that it's releasing on a Friday the 13th. There you go. <laughs> Absolutely. Ryan Moss is saying that he doesn't canceled. have any friends, your family. Okay. <laughs> well, share it with your family. <laughs> oh, how am I going to fix this? What was that call? Probably just won't. Uh, wood was last call. Oh, I can live with wood. Yep. Because I can post office that into stone. Yep. Oh, you also did the woodstone post office. Yeah, oh, yeah. felt like the right call. After wood is builder's choice. And that gives me tailor number five. I'm in so much trouble. Can't believe I mean, it. from here on out, I don't know what I'm doing. I think this is gonna, this is gonna be a really low scoring game for me. Really low. Uh, after that, Builder's Choice is a Wheat, which hurts me a lot. Oh man, yeah, this is this is going to be a train wreck. And then following Wheat is another Wheat. All right, Pete, come on now. Yeah, no, I mean, I might be looking at below 10 points here, I think. Builder's Choice is next up, which I guess statistically I must choose Brick. If this isn't Glass, I'm done. This this has been a brutal string here. Going po post office number two for Hope. 
It's a glass. Post office number two it was a good call. That makes a cottage. I think the only way this isn't going to be terrible is if I put the cottage there. Uh, did you yes. call? Okay. Did you say glass? Yep, it was glass. It was with wheat builder's choice glass. Uh, yep. And then back to back glass because wow. I'm terrible at calling. I shuffled twenty times, and I'm I'm also I'm a really good shuffler. It's like one of my one of my skills. I like to what are your I'm strengths? Quite good at it. Yes. Well, I don't think anybody that plays Tiny Towns with you believes that. That's fair. I would understand that. Builder's choice is next up. And Andy um, is saying so. My friends will be able to play Tiny Towns, but I won't. I hope you win a copy, Andy. David Bauer is saying Chapel mm -hmm. 3 for me. Alice Wood is saying good calling so far. Amy Kaiser is saying all the wood and the glass. Ross Gutierrez is saying you can be my friend and I can be your friend. Awesome. Todd Hunter is saying EG, thanks for keeping me sane for the COVID lockdown. Even when I can play, I love hearing the conversation. Thanks for all you do for your fans. I mean, Todd, that's exactly why the company decided to do this and we really enjoy playing with you guys. As many of us have said before, this is the highlight of our day. Eric mm -hmm. Sherry is saying, oh, wow, did I actually manage to catch one of these live events? Yes, Eric, you did. And Ross Graham is saying, as predicted, I finished my town very early and did crash out on a low score. Go Starlum. Hey, Ross, just share it on the Tiny Towns group. I want to see that score. <laughs> if, if you want. I mean, or, or no pressure if you're, you know. Embarrassed by your, your town, as I am today. <laughs> Come I'm, I'm on, let, let you share. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it is the third glass in a row. Uh, also, next beat. week, Josh Wood is going to be back, and he will have his his missing brick card, so he can call resources for a change. My score is so bad today, I can't believe it. I built one tailor. My plan was four, and I built one. Just terrible. I've got one unfed cottage. Oh, so bad. I have eight points today. That is the lowest I've gotten in quite a while. Brick is after that glass. Oh, Pete. Why are you doing this to me? Thank you, Did Ross. you get more than eight points, Kyle? Do you have more than eight points right now? I mean, now? I'm going to have more than eight points, but... <laughs> All right, Builder's Choice is after Literally, brick. brick is the only... Are you done, Pete? Oh, yeah, I'm done with eight points. Hard set up. Or were you Calling playing? Hard. Or were you playing Calling with the gravity rules? I was not playing gravity rules today. No, I did much better when I played gravity rules. Uh, what do you need, Kyle? Uh, I need anything except uh, uh, literally everything except for brick is fine. Stone. Stone, Stone. I can live with. I'm going. Okay, we're starting to get some results from the chat. Let me share that with you guys. We have Rose Graham with. 25 points. Leslie Clicksby with 17 points today. Casey Jones with 18. And David Wauer is saying, whoa, 8? What happened? Hey, 8 points is not the worst I've done on this stream. I'll have you know. And also from David, which has been our lore keeper for all these games, we are playing our 126th game today. That's mm -hmm. awesome. All right, after that stone, I'm sorry, Kyle, it is a brick. And guys, remember that we're doing a daily giveaway, and if you want to be part of that giveaway, please like and share the stream so more people find out what we're doing. The price of the day is a copy of Inner Compass. Hello, I Amy, need... welcome. I need one of the next two calls to either be stone or wood. How about Builder's Choice? That'll work. All right, it's going to finish our third run through the deck. It gives me almshouse number two. Nice. I feel like I just maybe shouldn't build tailors. It's been a really long time since I actually built four tailors in the middle. Are okay. you in the middle, Kyle? Four of them, yeah. Wow. Okay, awesome. guys. Let's get ready for these. Stretch a little while. Move your fingers. Refresh your <laughs> browser. Because we're going to do the speed round questions. First okay. person to tell the questions that pops up in my Facebook page. I need to remind you that 
it's not the first person that, act, that actually types it, but it's, it's the first person that shows up in my Facebook feed. That's different for everyone. Uh, it's gonna win a copy of Tiny Towns, and we're gonna hand out three prizes. All right, we are starting in five, four, three, two, one. And the first question is, can you name two of Pete's cats? Go, go, go. Time is going on. Name two How many of do Pete's you have cats. Two? I, I have two cats. All right. Then, <laughs> name, then give me the names of all Pete's cats. <laughs> I just wrote the confirm. I got one I name. I thought you only I had two. two. You have to say both. And I have the first winner is Amy Kaiser with Frodo and Samwise. Congratulations. Yep, that is it. Amy is the first the winner. And with uh, Samwise. Congratulations. Yeah, it was pretty close with uh, with Tori. But Tori write it Rodo instead of Frodo. So he just so oh. e press F for Tori. All right, second question. Be really quick with this. Can you name the developer of Tiny Towns? Go, 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 go. Let me know the name of the developer of Tiny Towns. If you have to check your rulebook, you're going to lose. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the name of the developer of Tiny Towns. And nope. Yeah, Thomas Griff is the first winner. Josh Wood is the developer of Tiny Towns. It's not Pete. Pete is the designer. Awesome. And then the third question of the day is, tell me the name of the secret car mode for Tiny Towns that will be released with Villagers. Go, 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 go. <laughs> tell me the name of the secret car mode for Tiny Towns on Villagers. I mean, is it secret anymore? Not anymore. Well, for most people it is. And Amy, you already won. So Tori is the the third winner, and we have our three winners of the day. All right. Congrats, everyone. That was fun. We should do stuff like that more often. Yeah. Well, I need the budget, and my sales guys will not get let me get that budget, right, Kyle? Sure. Keep Vlad under control. I um. <laughs> you can do it. I'm I'm in favor. <laughs> Let's just do it. All right. I have. Okay, first resource is once again brick, the third brick to start a run through the deck. Ugh. I should have put brick in one of these, but <laughs> it felt like wheat was the list. It was the worst of those evils. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, that's uh, that's one of the reasons that we really don't do much of these speed questions because different people have different internet speed connections and these actually yeah, that's true. price um, rewards those people and we straight to do that based on luck, sharing and liking but we will have more options for you guys uh, in the following contest and I'm going to congratulate Amy Kaiser, Tori Hayland and Todd Hunter You, each one of you guys got a copy of Tiny Towns not for you to share with your friends and play with those friends with us that's great. Alrighty, after that brick is a stone. Oh wow, give me a second. I haven't put a single one on the on the third round. Can you Just give me those resources? Just brick and stone. You put and stone. the third round is up. It's the uh, fourth round now. Brick oh, yeah. and stone. Brick yep. and stone. So uh, you asked about uh, PlayStation Five pre-orders earlier, Pete. Yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna ask uh, who won or lost trying to get one of the new nvidia graphics cards today oh yeah oh, that, yeah that was... What was it 15 minutes they were gone i have no idea i uh i actually did not set an alarm i didn't know like, I, I was didn't even think i had a chance to get it logged yeah. on to best buy added it to cart processed and then kicked back and said nope yeah yeah that was mm -hmm. what happened builder's choice is after that stone Yep, I had a PS5 in my car on Best Buy and just couldn't... Uh, every time I hit the checkout button, it just loaded forever. Yeah, well, yep. you know what? We're not going to be the first guys on the planet to have those things, but eventually we'll get them and it will be fine. 
Uh, do not pay eight hundred dollars on eBay right now for a no. PlayStation Five. Do not no, play no. Uh, scalper prices for your video cards. You will be fine, guys. You don't will be pay five hundred dollars for a GTX twenty eighty either. That's a very bad they, idea. How much are they supposed to be? Uh, well, they were fifteen hundred dollars, but the new cards are uh, so five hundred and eight hundred respectively, and the $500 one is slightly faster, and the $700 one runs off and leaves it. Huh. Weird. Yeah. Uh, all right. The next resource is a glass, and someone's asking if you could say the, the winners again. All right. Uh, already there is Amy Kariser, Tori Hateland, and Tont Hunter. Did you say glass as a resource piece? Yep. Okay. Right, and after glass is another glass. Another glass. Pete's wow! I'm out back just for the back So you know what? This is the first time that this has happened. But on the first round, at exactly this moment, Pete mm -hmm. called it double glass. On yep. the second round, on the next two resources, Pete called double glass. On the third round, on the next two resources, Pete called double glass. And right now, Pete just called double glass. And if he can, it's if almost he knows... like I don't shuffle at all, <laughs> but I do. I know. Builder's choice is next up. <laughs> I just want to see what happens if you call double glass right now. <laughs> Let's see if I do a triple glass. It's not triple glass. Wood is the next resource. Are you still going, Kyle? No, I'm out. Okay, gotcha. Do you have your score? I'm adding that up now. All right. After wood is a wheat. Still not a good day for me. Uh, I scored 24 points. Yeah, I mean, that's three times better than I did. So 24 points with four tailors in the middle for five each. Yep. 25 wow. plus five for two almshouses and nothing else scored. Wow. I have a Little. one well. Absolutely brutal. All right, Builder's Choice is after that wood and wheat. I'll just fly through the rest of the resources, Vlad. Oh, what if did you what, what, scored, what, did, what did you call, Pete, after the Builder's Choice? Nothing yet. Okay, sorry. I, my mistake. It is a wheat again after the Builder's Choice. So we had a sandwich there. And then the dreaded brick. was the toughest resource of the day for some reason. Probably just because everybody put a wood in their post office. Thomas, uh, let me double check that and we, we, we will double check the, the chat. Uh, like I said, we got different versions and I will check with production. And if you won that round and if I've just seen something else, you're going to get a price too. Uh, sorry about that inconvenience. It's just like the nature of this. All right, Builder's Choice is after that brick. Just a few more resources here. Good job if you're still going. After Builder's Choice is a glass. Hey, we want, to, we want to see more results on the chat. If you're winning, tell us how many points. Yeah, yeah. After that, glass is a brick. Followed by a final Builder's Choice. Uh, that was a really tough day. I mean, whenever Taylor's wow, played, so wait, the, the, those are all, uh, can can you wait a little bit and repeat those resources, Pete? I'm I think I'm missing two. Uh, yes, if I can figure out how I flip stuff, it went. Uh, it was Brickstone, Builder's Choice, Double Glass. Uh, it never went Brickstone. It went, I think, it went Glass and then Brick, Builder's Choice. And then brick again, and then uh, wheat, and then builder's choice. Okay. I think I'm lost, but I'm going to give two less resources here. Sorry about that. And that's My the bad, end bad. of the... I was going a bit quickly. No, don't worry. And that's the end of the fourth round. Mm-hmm. I didn't see any any points any scores as low as mine so good job everybody you all have beaten the designer although that's not the first time that's happened either i've definitely had the lowest score 
Amy Cardboard. Salwood, 23. Yes. David Bauer with 42. Is the true nature of Tiny Tears a glass in a 15 card deck? Yes. <laughs> Paul Johnston, that was always a 16. ton of glass. At least we had a building that ate up two glass. That was nice. Um, well, do we have anything else we want to share with folks at home? Uh, jo just be oh, yeah. Yeah, the main winner of the day, the winner of Inner Compass. Inner Compass. Mm -hmm. And that winner is Justin Aram. Congratulations, Justin. You just Excellent. won a copy Congrats. of uh, Inner Compass. That's one of the things that we need to share for the day. Let me put that out on the screen. Really big. So I don't mess that up. There you go. Justin, congratulations on your prize. Please send us a message on Facebook. The other thing that we want to remind you is that tomorrow we're playing Space Base. Space Base! Space, Space Base! Base. <laughs> and, hey, if you haven't heard, we're playing Tiny Towns 100 on Monday. Please be here. Yeah. Tell your friends. Help us reach 100 viewers. We mm -hmm. want to be there with you guys. That's it. All right. Well, did I hear correctly you. that we're playing Tiny Towns 100 on Monday? Yeah. Okay, just making sure. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for playing, everyone. Uh, we will see you tomorrow, and then we'll be back for Tiny Towns next week. Uh, keep playing games, and stay safe. Bye, everyone. Goodbye, everyone. Bye, everybody. Stay safe. <laughs>